as opposed to just pushing out the sound without proper breathing. Okay? So, here we go. This is what I want you to do. I want you to sing this simple note. Ah, 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 ah. Now when you press around this area and you do it again, ah, what you'll notice is that your vocal cords are vibrating. This is what you want, your vocal cords to vibrate. And the good thing with this exercise is that you are not pushing or enabling yourself to push your sound. This is basically allowing the proper amounts of breath to come through. This is a very good exercise because it allows you to notice your vocal cords and the vibrations that are happening very simply or very similar rather to the chords that would be in a piano or the, 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 the chords, the strings that would be in a guitar. So I want you to continue to use this exercise and practice it over and over and over again because it's going to keep you from pushing out your sound. Rather it's creating a beautiful sound and it's not irritating your voice box, your, your vocal cords. The next thing that I want to talk to you about is your vocal registers. What do I mean when I say vocal registers? Well, simply, vocal registers are your range. You have high registers, which is how high you're able to sing, and you have low registers, which is how low you're able to sing. Now, your registers, uh, there, there are three different types of registers. There is the high register, which a lot of people refer to as your head voice. This is where people such as Mariah Carey and Whitney Houston sing. The second register is your mid-range register. This is where a lot of pop songs, such as the K-pop stars, as well as people such as Britney Spears, Christina Aguilera, and others of that genre. This is the area that they usually tend to sing in. This, by a lot of people, is known as your chest register or your chest voice because you're singing in your midsection. Your last register is your low register. Now, this is normally your relaxed speaking voice. This is where you feel most comfortable. And what you want to be able to do, the more you begin singing and the more you become excellent in your singing, is you want to be able to sing in high registers as well as low registers. By the end of these videos, I want you to be able to sing in different ranges than that which you sing in right now. So you should be able to at any given time sing high or sing low. And you should be able to get to a low to a high sound without any problem. You should be able to do things like that and many others without a problem. So first of all, before I teach you how to get there, I want you to learn the different types of registers. This is why I am making this video. Now I'm going to give you a second exercise for your registers. This is what you're going to do when you're learning your registers. You're simply, it's very, very simple exercise. You're just going to do this. Now what you're doing is you are keeping yourself from pushing out your sound because the sound, you're, uh, the, the, you're not pushing out a lot of air because if you're pushing out a lot of air, your mouth would have to be opened. So by you keeping your mouth closed and going, this is allowing your vocal cords as well as the registers to go up and down without irritating those vocal cords. So you should try this at high registers. It can be very irritating at points because your mouth is vibrating. 
and sometimes it's annoying. But it's a very good exercise because again, like I said, you're not pushing out a lot of air. You are simply learning how to use your vocal cords to move up in registers and to move lower in registers. So, I hope you've enjoyed lesson number two, vocal cords and vocal registers.